Go Canvas tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use Go Canvas. Go Canvas is a powerful mobile and web application platform that allows businesses of all sizes to digitize their forms and processes. With Go Canvas, you can easily create custom mobile forms to collect data, images, signatures, and more, all from your smartphone or tablet. This eliminates the need for paper forms and manual data entry, saving you time and reducing errors. In this tutorial, we will cover everything you need to know about Go Canvas. We will show you how to create an account and provide an overview of the platform's features and functionalities. Additionally, we will demonstrate how to create a new form in Go Canvas. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using Go Canvas, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, look for the Try It Free option in the top right corner of your screen and click it. This will redirect you to the registration page where you'll need to enter some details. Fill in your first and last name, phone number, work email address, and your company name. Afterwards, select your industry from a drop down menu, choose the size of your company, and provide your country of residence and phone number. Finally, create a strong password for your account. Once you've completed the form, click on the Start Free Trial Now button to submit your registration. After clicking the registration button, you'll receive an email to the address you provided during registration. This email contains a verification link that you need to click in order to access your GoCanvas account. So, head over to your email inbox, find the email from GoCanvas, and click on the verification link. Once your email address has been verified, you will automatically be taken to your new GoCanvas account dashboard. The GoCanvas dashboard acts as the command center for all your GoCanvas activities. This intuitive interface is designed to provide easy access to the platform's extensive features. The dashboard has a left side menu with various main tabs, each serving a specific function. The dashboard tab is where you'll begin your GoCanvas journey. It provides a comprehensive checklist of initial steps to guide you as you start to use GoCanvas, ensuring a smooth onboarding experience. Moving on to the Dispatch tab, you'll find a centralized hub to effectively manage your workforce. From assigning tasks to monitoring progress, this feature empowers you to optimize your team's efficiency and productivity. Next is the Work Hub tab. This is where you can monitor your progress, view upcoming tasks, and check submitted work. This organizational tool is designed to streamline your workflow and increase productivity. The Forms tab is where the magic happens. This is the place where you can unleash your creativity to bring your digital forms to life. With powerful tools and features, you have the ability to create, edit, and manage all your forms with ease and efficiency. The Submissions tab provides a comprehensive view and efficient management of all the submissions made through your forms. It allows you to effortlessly track and handle the data received. In the Reference Data and Images tab, you have the convenience of managing and organizing all the data and images that you regularly use or refer to in your forms. This centralized hub ensures easy access and seamless integration. On the integrations page, you can effortlessly set up and manage connections with other software platforms that your business utilizes. This streamlines your workflow and enhances the efficiency of your operations. In the account tab, you will find a comprehensive set of features to manage users, groups, billing information, and reports, allowing you to have complete control over your account. Additionally, this section provides access to a wide range of account settings that you can customize to suit your needs and preferences. Lastly, the Profile tab is where you can find and manage your personal profile information. This section allows you to easily edit, update, and customize your details according to your needs. Each tab within the GoCanvas interface is thoughtfully designed to optimize your overall experience ensuring a seamless and highly efficient workflow for all your tasks and operations. Now, let's see how to create a form in GoCanvas. We create forms in GoCanvas to collect information from users, gather data, and facilitate communication. Forms allow us to gather feedback, conduct surveys, and capture user preferences. They are an essential tool for engaging with our audience and understanding their needs and preferences. Creating a form in GoCanvas is a straightforward process that allows you to digitize your data collection. To start, navigate to the Forms tab located on the left-hand side menu of your dashboard. This action will direct you to a page displaying all your existing forms. 
To create a new form, click on the Create New button positioned at the top right corner of your screen. A drop down menu will appear from which you should select Mobile Form option. You will then be prompted to choose a template for your new form. You can create a form from scratch by opting for the blank option, but for this video we will use a pre-existing template. Let's select the Invoice template and click on the Start button to proceed. The next page will lead you to an editor which allows you to customize the chosen template according to your needs. At the top left side of the editor, you can replace the existing name of your form with a new one. For this tutorial, we will keep the name as Invoice. The left side of the editor offers a wide range of fields for you to choose from. These include text, numbers, date, time, and location, as well as options like checkboxes, barcodes, links, payment, mirrors, and more. With the simple drag and drop feature, you can easily add any of these fields to your form and customize it to your liking. On the right side, you will find the form outline where you can add screens, customize customer information, change invoice details, and modify the invoice summary. Ensure you utilize these features to optimize your template. After adjusting the template to your satisfaction, click on the Save button. If you wish to have the form on your device, click on the Publish to Device button. A pop-up will appear, click the same button again within this pop-up. Following this, you can update the form's icon by clicking on the Update Icon button and selecting an icon from your computer. You also have the option to enable or disable the toggle button under the table of Content, Dispatch, Web Edit, Mobile Edit. Once you are satisfied with all the settings, click on the Next Assigned to Users button. Finally, select the user to whom you want to assign the form and click on the Publish button. This will publish your newly created form in GoCanvas. When it comes to pricing, GoCanvas offers a variety of plans to meet the needs of businesses of all sizes. The first is the Essential Plan. This plan is designed for growing companies that have multiple users and require more automation. It provides a comprehensive selection of features aimed at improving efficiency and streamlining. To know the price, you will need to contact the sales team. The second, this plan is perfect for larger companies that need to scale. It includes additional tools and greater flexibility, allowing businesses to customize the platform to their unique needs. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using GoCanvas. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching, and take care.